For your microeconomics final exam, this is why the MR equals MC point is the profit maximizing point. I'm a tutor and we're gonna walk through this first in a simple table example and then we'll apply it on the graphs. And before we get started here, I'm spending the next two weeks going over the core of what you gotta know for your exam. And if at any point you need me to explain this entire class to you in one night, I want you to go check out my microeconomics cram kit in my bio. It's packed with the 95 core concepts you gotta know and over 150 practice problems to help you solidify your understanding and be able to go from absolutely screwed for this exam to actually understanding this class and being able to pass. All right, but with that being said, let's first start by calculating the marginal revenue and marginal cost values from these totals. All that marginal means is change. So we're just gonna take the current unit and subtract from it the previous. We'll start with the first unit here. Theoretically, the total revenue at zero units is zero bucks. So the marginal revenue at this first unit is 10 bucks. For the second unit here, I'm just gonna go 20 bucks minus 10. That's also 10 bucks. For the third unit, 30 minus 20, that's also 10 bucks. This is gonna be 10 throughout. Let's apply that same process for cost here to calculate the marginal cost values. Theoretically at zero units, for the sake of this example, let's just assume that the total cost was zero. So marginal cost was five. For the second unit, we're gonna go eight bucks minus five. That's $3. Third unit, 13 minus eight, that's five. Fourth unit, 23 minus 13, that's 10. Five units, 40 minus 23, that is 17. Now before moving on here, I'm gonna circle four units here because at four units, our marginal revenue of 10 bucks equals our marginal cost of 10 bucks. From here, what I wanna test is what our profit equals at each of these units. All right, so 10 minus five is five bucks. 20 minus eight is 12 bucks. Minus 13 is 17 bucks. 40 minus 23 is also 17 bucks, and 50 minus 40 is 10. All right, the first thing I want us to understand here is that when marginal revenue was greater than marginal cost, we were essentially leaving profit on the table because producing that next unit from that point generated us more profit. So whenever marginal revenue is greater than marginal cost, keep outputting units. The second thing I want us to take note of is that once we surpassed the MR equals MC point, our profits started to drop because our marginal cost was greater than our marginal revenue. We were incurring a loss by producing additional units. So whenever that happens, you'd be stupid to keep outputting. You should restrict your output back to the MR equals MC point. The third thing I wanna take note of here is, well, Adam, couldn't we have stopped at three units? Because our profit was 17 at three units too. Like, sure you could have, but for the sake of your exam, what I want you to remember here is that firms wanna output as many units as possible. They got nothing to lose to output this fourth unit and like think about it from beyond the prices here, like maybe that next unit would have brought in more marketing for them through word of mouth. I don't know, we don't really need to dig too much into that. Just understand that we're gonna output as many units as possible. And at this third unit, our marginal revenue was greater than our marginal cost. So there was something to gain from outputting one more unit. 